it is right now happening, we are getting our breakout. But the real question right now is, is this a trap or are we headed even higher towards our next targets? Well, we did see a lot of volume coming through in the market. And of course, out of anticipation of the inflation rate event that is going to be happening tomorrow already, we are currently experiencing this pump. People are right now front running the market. And also we saw that, yeah, volatility was imminent because of this Bollinger Bands squeeze that we did talk about. So without further ado, let's jump right into the analysis. If you have been following me longer, you of course knew that I was quite bearish actually in this symmetrical triangle, but also I was saying many times that the break to either direction of this symmetrical triangle was leading. And I have been telling many times that if we are actually going to be breaking towards the upside, I am going to be taking some long positions. So it has been absolutely beautiful to ride this move towards the upside. But right now it is time to reevaluate the market because I can see a lot of people right now flipping bullish and we are currently approaching some kind of a resistance level. We also do still have the CME gap down below, but also on the weekly time frame. Well, we are not really out of the blue just yet. We are still running in towards this resistance area. So this will be very important to have a look in towards because of course we can still turn around right here and still get some kind of a dump in the market but in my opinion i don't think it is very likely that we are actually going to be reversing this towards the downside because if we are having a look into our cpi data that is going to get released well all of these previous times we have actually seen a very big pump happening because of this data out of anticipation we have always seen this very nice push towards the upside getting created right here as well we actually went even higher right here once again out of anticipation of the cpi data well we did see this push towards the upside getting created so right now once again people are front running the market and people are anticipating good news for the cpi data that will get released and if we are going to be having a look into our next targets well of course, we have been saying for a very long time already, if we are actually going to be breaking our 28.6k level, that we are going to be targeting the 31.8k level next. So of course, this will also be my next level that I am going to be watching, but also having a look in towards our breakout target. Well, we have not yet reached our breakout target, which is going to be the 31k level. So yeah, this 31k level and also this resistance level is going to be my target in the end of the day. And we can also have a look into our super trend indicator and our email ribbons which are definitely still looking bullish. So what I want to be saying that if we are going to be getting a rejection right here in the short term, I am actually going to be looking to be longing a retest of this breakout right here. If we are going to be if we are going to be coming back towards the 28.6k level, I am definitely going to be looking to be placing a trade right here from of this level. Now, here's the important thing. If we are going to be falling below this support level, well, then of course we are going to be getting a very significant rejection from of this resistance level. And then we can be saying, all right, we actually created a huge liquidity grab right there. And then we can be saying, all right, we are actually going to be headed lower towards our 25K level. But currently that is not the case right now. So in my opinion, I am going to be watching my targets getting reached right here. And also very importantly, I will be having a look in towards the inflation data that will be coming out tomorrow so it will be very important to have a look in towards the results tomorrow if it is going to be coming out lower than the consensus it will be super bullish for the bitcoin price but if it is going to be coming out higher than the consensus it will actually be very bearish for the bitcoin price but well then also having a look in towards this chart right here this chart is really suggesting us that we are actually coming back in towards bullish territory and if we can be getting a weekly close above this resistance level then yes we are coming back in towards this bullish territory of this bull market right here and in that case for the longer term we can definitely expect higher prices getting reached but it will be very important because we need to be seeing this weekly close coming above this resistance line right here and right now still we are still in this resistance area so we can still get this rejection of course and that is also the reason why we need to be seeing this weekly close above resistance so if you want to be staying up to date about every single market development yesterday we also shared exactly whenever bitcoin was actually close to be breaking out we shared it exactly on 
on our Twitter right here. So if you want to be staying up to date about every single market development, be sure to be following me on Twitter and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And guys, with that being said, I'll see you in another update video tomorrow morning. And guys, bye bye.